of the Bailey and Jackson freaking show. Mom, I'm gonna show you how it's done. We're back! And we are not in Branson yet. We're in Springfield. Decided we can't check into our hotel until four, which I've never heard of that. I, it's normally earlier, but we wanted to kill time and we came to the mall in Springfield and we did a little, a little shopping. Knocked a lot of stuff off the list. Mm -hmm. And then of course we had to get Annie Ann's pretzels. These are the best pretzels. So freaking good. I'm so excited. But you gotta get them real hot. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that cheese is not that hot. So yummy. We should have gotten two cheeses. I know. Sorry. I'm excited about our purchases today though. Mm -hmm. I did a little a little shopping for myself. But um Did you get any of the um Oh it's not Burt's bees, but No, they didn't have it. They didn't have any? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. So hopefully Santa got me some from Amazon. Might be maybe not. <laughs> you never I know, what, you never know what Santa might do. I told my mom I needed some. When did you tell your mom you wanted from Christmas? Oh, um, yeah, anyway. I can't wait. I'm going to do a haul later. And a hotel haul. I love doing this. Reminds me of OG YouTube. Back in the day. Yeah, when I used to watch it. Anyway, we're gonna scarf these pretzels down, and we're gonna take it along for the weekend in weekend Branson. ride. I'm so excited. This is like one of my favorite. I've looked forward to this weekend for a while. She has been. She was getting so giddy this week. Yeah, like as a, a kid, little kid. As a kid, I used to do this, and it's just it's it's really fun to to obviously Callan's not gonna remember, but it's really fun to bring him along this uh, trip. annual trip. Yeah, because we're going to make it kind of a, a well, an annual thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cal will grow up doing it, and it'll be fun. And then yeah. he'll be able to show his siblings the ropes. Yeah, and he might not love the shopping part. And, like, we might not bring him for the shopping part, who knows, in the future. Because, mm -hmm. like, today we were shopping for him, and we got gifts. And I think he's not going to remember right now, but... Right. Um, Hell, we can get him stuff for Christmas, and then give, give it to him for his birthday, and he'd never know the difference. We're not doing that. <laughs> you don't want to be like, um, are you okay? Bad mom's Christmas, mm -hmm. where that mom gets her boy a baseball, the same mm -hmm. baseball club glove over and over. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a funny movie. Okay, let's scruff these down and hit the road. Okay. Put it in half. Wanna pop? I hope he sleeps on the way to Branson. Why? Just so like throughout the day or the rest of the day he can have it in half. Literally. There's a half. Half and half. Bigger. This one. Hide. Mm. We made it to our room. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sit up here. Uh, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, dude. <laughs> Is that funny? First is this hourglass bronzer. So pretty. I'm going to show Jack my current bronzer. Oh, wow. It's falling apart. So that's trashed. This one is so beautiful. You can even see. Next, with our boss, I ended up getting the um, Foundation stick in the color um, Vanish. This is stunning. So pretty. Next. 
next. Yeah. I ended up picking up this Merit. Um, yeah. Bronze? No. What is it? Contour. Complexion. Oh, yeah. Merit is super, super popular. Oh, yeah. Then I got the ever so stunning NARS Orgasm um, blush. It just cut me off because I ran out of storage. But this is the NARS Orgasm, and I think it is so freaking pretty. And then lastly, I got the Dior. Hyaluronic, I think it's lavender, holographic lavender, and this is so pretty. Like, beautiful color. So, I'm gonna touch up my makeup really quick because it needs it. And then we're gonna get ready in the road because we have a very fussy baby. We have a crabby pickle. Daddy wants him to have the stuffed animal and not the makeup. I don't want looking like that boy we saw the other. Shh. Hush. Um, anyway, I'm already probably not doing this right because I just stuck that foundation over the top of what I already had because I don't have time to reapply and take my makeup off and then reapply. But Callan's mm. sorry, you just hit your noggin. Callan's playing with uh, the vegan collagen. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, anyway. Not reapplying, but I will say for that stick foundation, that's the first time I've ever tried it, and I can already attest I'm obsessed. Um, okay. Next. Okay. We'll do a little bit of this blush over top. Little. <laughs> really? Mama. Mama. That's right. I forgot. I didn't put any of this on. Shut up. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I think that lips balm is like a uh, um, plump, plumper, because I can feel it kind of plumping my lips a little bit. <laughs> really? You too? Liz, <laughs> are you ready to go shopping? Mama gonna show you how it's done. Starting yeah. off. Okay, we came to what is this place called? Brick Town Brick. Brick Town uh, Brewery. Yeah. And what did I get? I got one of their specials. A blueberry ale. Looks yummy. I love a big, a good blueberry. Cheers. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Super Pro Max tampon? Super Pro Max Pluses. <laughs> okay, we have big news. If you've been watching my channel, you know this is this was about to happen. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> and we got engaged last night. Yes, I'm wearing a band because it's a little loose. I don't know if maybe I lost weight or because it's cold, but my finger is smaller than what it normally is. He got the right size. Yeah. But it's a little loose and I'm a little nervous. So I put on one of my, I always have like multiple like rings and bands on. So I put a band over the top of it to like secure it and make myself feel more comfy. But we're engaged. Calton's parents are getting married and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. He did so good. Let me, my camera doesn't really focus the best. So, um, 
Oh, she's focusing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, she's Gorgita. I'm absolutely obsessed. And I can't stop staring at it. I all through the night last night in my sleep, I didn't sleep because I was like touching it and making sure it was still on my finger. <laughs> and I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh shit, I am an engaged girly. I'm obsessed. She's so cute. Anyway, it what is it? It's just an oval cut. It's an oval cut. With a yellow band and a band a, in an the... invisible halo diamond on the bottom. So cute. And here, like after he had asked, we were at the landing last night. Totally caught me off guard, and that was the only my only request is I just didn't want to see it coming, and I felt like there were I well I kind of we discussed like you make comments about how you were gonna do it before this year, right before the end of the year, like we were gonna get engaged because Callan is almost a year old, and so we had talked about like getting married before Callan was born, but we decided we want to have like a whole wedding and like be able to celebrate and have the, have the full experience, so we decided to wait and we I knew that it was gonna be coming like it's obvious. And like when people would ask like, oh, like are you married or dead? I'm like, oh, I have a fiance because right. we have a baby. Like, yes, we're gonna be getting married. No, we didn't have like a ring, but to me that didn't make us not mm -hmm. fiances. Like I don't have to have the ring to, so. Anyway, I knew it was coming and we were at the landing last night and to be quite honest, I did not see it coming last night. Like I was totally caught off guard. And that was my only request, so I'm, I feel very happy that you were able to surprise me. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> she even like looked at, I got down on one knee. I was playing with Callan in a stroller, and then like I moved over and got down on a knee and got towards her and even, and you know, started my speech. And then she just- My eyes about popped out of my head. She was looking at me and she wasn't really, she just thought I was just being sweet and just messing around with her. And then all of a sudden, you just see your eyes just go humongous, like, <gasps> holy shnikes, this is actually happening. And then she just could not say yes quick enough. She's like, yes, yes. <laughs> and it was just so funny. <laughs> so she, I didn't get to finish my speech at all, but we are in And then I look over, I like I'm staring over, and we're sitting over, like standing over a grate. And so I'm like, this would happen to us. Like he's he's gonna drop this thing in this crate. He didn't. You were had you had it secure. But I was like, oh my gosh, are you joking? Like this would probably happen to us. But anyway, that's our story, and it was so special, and I'm so excited. I cannot believe. Like let the wedding planning begin. My best friend gets married at the beginning of 2024, so I mean Justice it's all gonna be her um, next August, August 1st. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's all gonna be like all about my bestie right now. So don't even think that I'm gonna be planning a wedding anytime, like super soon. Um, I just want to like fixate on my girlfriend Megan. Like she totally deserves it, and I want to make it all about her. But after her wedding, and then I have another bestie girl that's getting married, her name is Justice. After those weddings next year, or this, yeah, next this, year, yeah, next 2024, um, it's like game on. on. I'm so excited. But anyway, all that being said, we're very excited, and we're gonna celebrate with Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I haven't been, mm. to be honest, I'll be real honest, I don't love Cracker Barrel's food. I come here for the gift shop. So I can get down with some of their food, but I can only get down with it every once in a while. Yeah, like I, we come here pretty much, like my family, when me and my best friend used to come here all the time, um, come to Branson, we would always stop at Cracker Barrel, but it's just not something like I can really get down with a lot, but I'm not a breakfast girly, so. And I'm a huge breakfast guy. Cause I can eat, bre I mean like breakfast for dinner, Ah, uh, that used to be like my fave when I was a little kid. I come home from school and then all of a sudden my parents say we're having breakfast for dinner, like freaking jumping for joy. You know what I mean? It was so I can get down for, for dinner. Yeah, heck yeah. We never do it. <laughs> well, sometimes we do. We do the quesadilla a lot. Oh yeah, the breakfast quesadilla. That's right. We do do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. 
Um, okay, anyway, we're gonna go. Today is gonna be a fun day, and I think I'm gonna vlog a lot more today. Last night was a little like we were coming into town, kind of go, 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 and then well, we kind of after... just got like everything we wanted to get done, like shopping wise for people, we got done yesterday. Well, I mean, yeah, you pretty did. much. I didn't, I didn't get my dad, Everly. Everly and Hudson. You have to get Everly and Hudson one thing and your dad one thing. Anyway. So very simple. Doesn't matter. Today. Um, but yeah, we're doing lots of running around today. It's gonna be fun. Um we were doing a lot more hardcore shopping though yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Today's gonna be more laid back. Laid back. Chilling. Find things cool. If we don't, we don't. Right. Um, but I'm excited for some of the places we're going. So let's start with Cracker Row. Yeah. Okay. So Jack always comes super prepared and he always packs a cooler. And I thought it was kind of a silly idea because it was gonna eat up a lot of space. But, but here I am craving a Coke. We had a couple drinks last night and um, I'm needing a little little Coke or Dr. Pepper. And you, did you admit on camera that that was a good idea? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, your mother is about to destroy everything. I can't remember what this place is called, but it's so cute. And they have some of the coolest furniture. They have two of these and they're so gorgeous. This cabinet's fun. I also love this one. Like vintage pieces. They've got some great ones. Wood. It's so pretty. Yeah, we're thinking about getting this for our entry. It's super narrow. There's a couple places we could put it. We could put it at the foot of a bed. Mm -hmm. It's about the perfect size. I mean, not in our room now, but right, could potentially. In our entryway? Or yeah, this entryway would be. It's skinny. It's not going to take up a bunch of room. Yeah, I say we do it. Yeah. It's only 200 which is a great price for one of these pieces. I love it. I'm gonna do it. These are so fun. How cute is that? Love that too. So fun. Cheesies. I love all those candle sticks. Those are fun. I love that one. I will say that's my favorite look is like a long, bulky dresser, even bigger than that probably, with like a big graphic over it, like a big, huge picture. You got a good one. Well? The bench is a little bigger than the other's gonna be. <laughs> um, and hopefully a train doesn't come because we're literally on the track. Um, okay, we're good. Um, yeah, the bench is a little bigger than we thought, but it makes me happy because it's bigger than we thought. Like, it, yeah. I, I really cannot even believe we got this bench for the price that we did because I've actually priced around and I've, I've, come, I've come across real small ones, like not even like maybe 12 inches long, uh, like a single seater and I've, it's like roughly $200 and we ended up getting this huge bench for 200 and at the store we were at, it was kind of a, it was a cool store. It was. They had some really cool pieces. They I would say some. like very, what is the organic modern style, which is like that raw wood tones, lots of ivories and whites and black, which is like right up our alley in style. And I mean, so many cool pieces of furniture. A lot, lot of cool hutches. Yeah, like unique, like one, maybe a very one. few and far between yeah. that you're not gonna find just anywhere. So, um, and like heavy, like Jack picked this up and was like, this is heavier than I thought, but that means like it's a the real deal so I'm super excited about it and yes it's kind of silly that we just bought it considering we have like shopping and stuff to do for other people but it was just too good to not not get it get um and I would recommend anybody 
try that place out. It was really cool. It was just downtown by the landing. I think like a block from the landing. And um, they had some really cool pieces. But anyway. Yeah, it's a cool little downtown area to walk around. Yeah, there were definitely more shops we could have gone to. I just... They're more tinker. Yeah, like little um, like knick-knack, small like... Patty White giving yeah. off bombs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like touristy shops in that area on that block mm -hmm. and we have shopping that we actually have to get done for gifts so we're heading to Springfield and we're going to do some shopping at like the Bass Pro there which is like the main HQ location yeah and we're there. gonna do some like shopping at PFI stuff like that oh we can go through the freaking um Aquarium? The aquarium too with cow. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. You probably think that's pretty neat. That would be fun. Okay. Yay, that'll be fun. Okay, we're at Bass Pro. Can we say hi? He's excited. This is gonna be a good one. Look at it. It's pretty. So pretty. Challenge. Look. Big eight or corn. What are these? Pine cones. Pine cones, yep. Those are big. Okay. Bass Pro was a hit. I ended up knocking out a lot of my, pretty much all my dad's stuff. I could get him like a, one or two more little things. Um, and then my nephew is done and my niece, I got her a big item from here so I'm feeling really good about that it's a small little thing like maybe a couple little yeah. things for Ed, for your niece yeah but my and nephew then. is normally who I struggle with the most I just have always found it to be really hard to shop for little boys but I think now that I'm a boy mom I find it a little easier and I knocked his out super quick today and yesterday so um, I'm feeling really good about it I can get my mom a couple other little things but other than that we're pretty much like able to just kind of play and shop around now instead of having to worry about who and what to get who so yep now we're going to pfi which is one of my favorites i haven't been here in years and then we might go get mama a, a big present for christmas yeah to be determined something maybe a little bit bigger than santa little, claus as could if, fit in his sleigh. as if this wasn't enough um no, we are contemplating getting a new car. We've kind of been talking about it for a while. Um, this is one of the examples as to why. And, and if you could see the rest of our car, it's kind of packed full of stuff. As you, I mean, if you can imagine, yes, everybody probably, like when you go Christmas shopping, it gets packed. But if you've been following along, you know, we have Callan and... Three dogs. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> um... Yeah, three dogs, and we just, we have a lot of stuff, and Jack and I have kind of, we've been responsible for a while, like, we've not made any big purchases, other than our house, but I don't really consider that to be... It's an investment. Yeah, that's... And we haven't spent that much on our house. Exactly. Um, I mean, yeah, we bought a fridge or a kitchen, but... I mean, that's like a necessity. But we really, we really haven't, we've been responsible and we have been. The last big purchase we had was literally our fridge. Yeah, but that's not even it's that It's not even a fun, I mean, it's a fun purchase because we like shit like yeah, that. Yeah, but that wasn't even but that big of a purchase. I mean, no. it was expensive, but it's not. No, it was. And that's not like a, that's not what I'm talking about. It's not a splurge <laughs> item. Our fridge went out, so. We had to get a new fridge. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we have sat uh, and like thought and talked about it for a while and we, you know, think it's time. So we're not going to like jump immediately and get a new car, but we are going to go look and I think it'd be fun to bring the vlog along. Yeah, start the process. Yeah. See what we can maybe get into. And yeah, first we're going to PFI though and I'm super excited. And I don't even know what PFI stands for, but it's like a Western store, boot store. Professional Fitters Institute? No, <laughs> that ain't it. Absolutely not. Okay, we made it to PFI, and I'm looking for a hat for Nashville. This is my one choice, gray. 
you for sure like gray over the brown? Jack, mm -hmm. do you like the gray over the brown? Which brown? Like this? The brown is on my hair. Oh. I do like the brown. It's more of a dark color. I don't know what I, which one I like more. I like the gray. I think that fits on my head better. Personally. Let me see the front of the brown one. So here's the gray. Which just fits on my head better. The gray. Yeah, I like the gray better. You agree? Or you disagree with? No, I do like the gray better. Okay. I like the way the gray is shaped a little bit more. Too. I do too. I, I couldn't find the sticker on it. Well, it probably either. Look at all the things. Look at these. She's fancy. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right, we're currently test driving. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? The guy that we're with, we had to fill up, so we're at the ga gas station, and... He's getting this feel right now. Oh my gosh. It's got a spot for the vlog camera. This is perfect for the vlog. This is so fun. I love this little car. I, this is not the body or style that we were going to go. No, with, this is actually not the, what we anticipated on doing, getting. But, but this one is really cute, and it's a it's, little... It's, it's a lot more meeting. in our price range. It's meeting what we need and, it's, and want. Yeah. Oh my god. And we're not having to spin as much, which is awesome. You have a, oh, you have garage buttons right there now. Yeah, you, we would just like, what, get it to. Oh, yeah. Now Cal can look out the sun, at the roof. This is so cute. I, wow. I was really hoping for tan interior, but. I like this whatever. piping too on the sides, though. Yeah. It's a nice touch. It is. I wish it had a little bit more. I know, I did too. But I like this. It's not too techny technology mm -hmm. because I feel like things go south, stop working. Mm -hmm. I do like your completely digital display. Yeah, I that's do. really nice. Yeah. So what do we do now? You just want to drive it around a minute, see how you like it. Sure. And what do you mean, like moving forward? Yeah. Like I mean, do we want to buy it? Like do we want to? We probably need to see about my car though. Yeah, we'd have to get see what your trade-in would be. I need I'd have to make a phone call to my grandpa to figure out if I can why get a you, discount. Yeah, why don't you call him? I will. I just would call him after. Okay. I don't want to call him now because then he's gonna sit and talk on the phone. I love you, Grandpa, what if you're watching. Heck? But I know we gotta look at this a little bit more. This is crazy crazy. My camera's gonna die probably. How do you feel about it? Do you like it? I like it, it a lot. Honestly, it's a little bit. It's bigger than your car too. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot more protective. It is. A, it's a I third think, row for an accident. I think that Apple products. You know what I have too, and I've never messed with okay. Apple Music for about six months now. My buddies look at that. Yeah, I, I remember with getting the iTunes gift card. Y'all, this is not even real because what is that? Oh, they drop a bomb. On the deal. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. We are pulling out of the drive, pulling out of the dealership in our new car. Do you know where you're going? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. There we go. I feel so weird leaving my car right there. This is wild. Okay. Holy moly. We, we just got a, new a freaking car. New freaking car! My bought? first time I've ever bought a new car in my life. I've yeah, never owned anything new used. in my life. Yeah, I can't believe that. We were kind of like, we were talking seriously about getting one, but I really didn't think we were gonna get one today. And we ended up getting a brand new car and I cannot wait to show all the details on it. But we are now racing back to Branson because we're going to the Dixie Stampede tonight at eight. And hopefully, Okay, hopefully it's not too blurry, but 
we both decided before going in we've talked about it I can't remember what all I've said so far but we've talked about getting a new vehicle um, kind of since before or after we had Callan but it was not something top priority uh, my I had a Bronco Sport and I vlogged the whole experience of getting that um, and I was super proud of it and I loved it um, and I I'm sad to see it go but honestly with our family and the size that we are and how much we go and do things um, we normally have you know friends with us or you know if, say our parents come with us like we just were super tight on room so we knew a third row was in the future for us and we had talked about it for a while and we were going looking at um, a Wagoneer which was something I love. That's like my dream car. Um, the Tahoe, and we also really liked the uh, Nissan Pathfinders. Um, then when we really got serious about looking, it just didn't make sense for us to get a Jeep Wagoneer right now. Like the price point on those are ridiculous, but the main reason why we didn't go with it is simply because they haven't been out for very long and there's a lot of transmission issues and that's just not something that I'm willing to and we didn't want to deal with because yeah. you have to have your car and if it's right. always in the shop it's Right. Just, well yeah. you guys know like with my wedding videography there's no I can't I can't mess with shit like that. So um I just I can't take the risks uh, as, even though I love the car so hopefully they work out the kinks for those and we can get them in the future get one in the future but anyway once we got to the dealership we were looking at the Tahoe's and we kind of talked to a salesman and Jack kind of said exactly what we were looking for and he had asked us if we had seen the traverses and how much we were wanting to spend yeah and he said I have top of the line in a traverse which me being me and I'm like I don't even know what a traverse is but like show it to me they pull it up and I immediately am like okay like now we're talking because I really liked the, the look of it mm -hmm. Next and it was exactly what him me and Jack wanted like we like we would we want to have like we wanted to have like a tan interior but they're really hard to find those tan interiors, yeah. and if they if you can find them, they're very expensive because yeah. that's they're very pot like very wanted. We wanted like the, the really so, like pretty, a saddle color almost. Yeah, uh, leather interior, and it just wasn't working. They didn't have one in on their lot to begin with. They had a huge selection. They just didn't have that. Yeah. Um, but when they pulled this one up, we both were like, okay, this is pretty much exactly what we've been looking for, checking all the boxes. Mm -hmm. um, and it happened to be brand new. We weren't even looking for a brand new vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, but we got this one and we're really, really excited. And I'm gonna show like all the features and stuff tomorrow in daylight a little bit better. I showed them while we were test driving and stuff, but um, yeah, we're just super excited about it. And we feel very, very lucky. Yeah, very lucky, very blessed that we can do yeah. this. Shout out to my grandfather, who, used, who yeah. worked at Allison Transmission for 30 years. He got us a good discount. Got it, yeah. Got and a like discount a little discount it. code that he gave us. Yeah. And it took a little chunk off the, the amount. So that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, it did. So yeah, we really appreciate them. Sometimes they watch our vlogs, so. Mm -hmm. um, and shout out to David Chat. Yeah, and uh, the Springfield Chevrolet dealership. Sh yep. Phenomenal. He was, I mean, I know salesmen can be salesmen, but like, he was a phenomenal guy. He even helped us with Callan. Uh, Callan was taking a nap. You're turning here, Jack. Yeah. Callum was taking a nap in the car and he woke up uh, and David grabbed him and like brought him back in and was like so sweet to him. So anyway, all that besides the point, we are now at the Dixie Stampede and I gotta get clips of this because I'm so excited. We're rolling up. And if you've never been here, I highly recommend. I came here all the time as a kid and it's just like my happy place. And we're gonna go in. Cal's sleeping, so he might sleep through it. We're not gonna fight him on it. Um, but we're gonna come in here and have dinner and just have a little celebratory engagement slash buying a new car. Yeah. And we're really excited. We're, we're just super excited about life. Some people may call us crazy that why the hell are you doing all this in one weekend? But it's fun. I just like to say, Welcome to the Bailey and Jackson freaking show. 
We do what we want when we we're want. We're very sporadic. Well, we're very um, responsible, sporadic people. Yes. And together, we just like love to get crazy ideas in our brains and then just be like, hey, you want to do this? And the other's like, yeah, let's do it. So we, we're just having a lot of fun and it's just been such a special weekend and I'm really, really excited. And I'm happy that I'm vlogging all of it because no, you gotta park back there, Jack. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna take you long. My camera might die, but I'll vlog it on my phone. Um, but look at these. We're driving by all of these little stables with these. All the horses. The horses that are in the show. If you're not familiar with the Dixie Stampede, um, it's the Dolly Parton Stampede now. And Dolly Parton owns it. And it is a show at in Branson. And I'll dinner. try to vlog a couple clips. I know you're not really supposed to, but I will try to do that. And they feed you dinner, like a really, really nice dinner while you watch these the show. And it's a Christmas show. Um, not year round, but the shows change with the seasons. And um, anyway, it's just really, really, really cute and all like awesome for families to come. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So anyway. Here we go. I'm super pumped. The food's delicious. And we have not ate anything except for breakfast this morning. Yeah, at 9.30. Yeah. I don't like, even think I vlogged breakfast. Freaking crazy. What's wrong with us? Let's go. <laughs> so cute. And all of these horses are in the show that we're gonna watch, and I'm so excited. Oh. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please proceed to the. show it was so much fun do you agree oh yeah it was so it was fun it's time. worthwhile it was it's, really cool it's so cute um the and i'm Christmas, not a huge musical yeah. live like theater type person at all yeah. but it's always it's but the so dinner's good. good and i yeah. mean you like it mm -hmm. yeah i feel like it's a great dinner and you're it's actually of, really good for how many because i know yeah. like if you ever go to a wedding, you you know you get ch like they always serve chicken or they serve something. It's either cold or it's dry or no, something. No, they've got it dialed in. No, like it's like the chicken was very moist. It was very good. Um, the pork loin was good. I mean, it was all really good. The potatoes were really good. Yeah, too. yeah, they were. Um, um, delicious <laughs> dinner. The show was just under two hours. Callan did great. He stayed up the whole time. I was hoping maybe that he would be able to sleep in the little. Um, uh, stroller, but we weren't even able to take it all the way in. Uh, we left it 
by the front um but it was fun it was good for him and it was really cute i got a little emotional because i remember whenever i was little my grandma and my aunt brought me to the dixie stampede and i just was so mesmerized and so seeing him kind of like that and just like watching the horses like i had tears streaming a little bit he i was, was like very obsessed wow um and now we're driving down the strip heading back to our hotel instead of taking um a different route we wanted to take the the strip route and see all of the lights and everything and it is so pretty i love this time of year down here it's in my opinion i mean yes the summer is fun but in my opinion this is the time to come to branson because all the lights all the and christmas it's just lights like it's so magical no it is fun to come down here on the sun uh, for the, in the summer to yeah i like go go kart riding and stuff like that but go out to, yeah, the lights are really cool city. i want to show some of these my camera's gonna die but i've stayed at this hotel before it's so so cute mm -hmm. then some of these up here are getting to be some of the newer buildings some of them are still there from back in the day though yeah this is the classic yeah the um, chicken and the outlet mall is back behind there we were gonna go but we didn't end up going we got all of our shopping done and we went elsewhere. and bought a car instead. Yeah, pretty much. Not really. Me and Bailey both remember whooping up on our brothers on a go-kart track yeah. right there. Yeah, that is so Turn much fun in the summer. Children. <laughs> and then, let's see, what is this one? Oh, I love Spirit of the Dance. That was one of my favorites. Like, this one's new. Yeah, this is a new building. This looks very Vegas. Yeah. And then there's like a board walk thing over there. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And, and then, then Wonder Wars. we're getting, yeah, this is like really crazy fun. Yeah. How cool is this building? I mean, what? How cool is that? like Presley's right there that's original the American theater um, the wax museums up here in just a second there's King Kong up there mm-hmm hey, that's the wax museum ain't it yeah The architecture on that is just mind-boggling to me to create something that's so it can withstand weather mm -hmm. the way it does. Mm -hmm. This is a fairly new one too. Mm -hmm. I don't ever remember seeing this one. Yeah, let this guy come through. It's gonna be hard to think about. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Yeah, instead of up front. There's the Titanic. You can kind of see it. I mean, classic, you know. Like, yeah, I love it. I've toured it several different times. If that just doesn't say so I'm cool. at Branson. Right. The uh, modern day cruise ship is like 10 times the size of what the Titanic is. Was. Really? Mm hmm I didn't know that. Yeah. So cool. It's the next morning. And we are hitting the road kind of early this morning. I um, got woke up around 5.45 this morning from Callan. So, no big deal. Um, we're gonna go get breakfast. If you know your parking extension, you may get to it at any time. We're going to get breakfast and take the road home. Because we miss the dogs and we want to just do. So, anyway. We're hitting the road. We stopped at Duncan. The best breakfast on the go. Uh, don't come at me if you think that's false because it is. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think it's the best. And I used to have this all the time when I worked in Colombia and when I was pregnant. 
I get the everything bagel and uh, bacon, egg, and cheese and a large iced vanilla coffee. And yeah, anyway, um, we just got done FaceTiming my mom and my dad. It was so sweet. They actually knew. Jack obviously asked for my dad's hand and he freaking told my mom, which I'm shocked about. Um, oh, he said Walmart here in Ozark probably the easiest. I'm free whenever. Cool. We have to meet our uh, dealer guy salesman. from yesterday, the salesman, um, to get my keys that Jack left in the, the door. So we're going to do that. We're meeting him and I'm going to eat this breakfast before it gets cold. And my camera's going to die. We made it home and it feels good to be home. It's, we got here actually pretty early. It is not even 11 o'clock, yeah. Not even 11 o'clock and we arrived home. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She got us a little plant. Aww. How cute, our little dog setter slash Callan's baby setter. Um, so sweet. Left us the cutest little note, made cookies. Like, she's just the sweetest. And she takes the best care of my little boy. So I'm so, so grateful to have her. Um, and like I said, left us the cutest little note and uh, whatnot. But anyway, we are home now. I think I'm just gonna um, continue vlogging. At first I was gonna close it out. Um, but I have some fun stuff we're gonna do today. We're gonna wrap presents and also I wanna show our bench that we got in our house. It looks so cute. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a nice little Sunday. The Chiefs play today and um, it's just gonna be, our house is pretty much clean. I did a quick vacuum, um, but we're gonna just like do some laundry and stuff like that and have a nice little day. So, that's what's going on. I have all of these presents that we need to um, wrap and put away and all that. But, look at this, how freaking cute did the bench turn out? The dogs are obsessed, they keep licking and smelling. Um, I'm obviously gonna style it, but I think it's so fun. I also need to get two pictures there. I printed them off at, I think I just need to go to CVS and get them. I'm pretty sure they're ready to be picked up, but um, yeah, and we gotta fix those lights and whatnot, but I think it works, works perfectly. What? Did you wear jeans? No, I wore leggings. Those were Friday. Um, but yeah, anyway, there she is. Love her, love her. Got a package in the mail. I wanna open it up and see what we got. I could be mistaken, but I think this is for Okay, I ran out of storage, so I had to delete, but I'm anxious to know what these are gonna look like because I ordered them on Amazon, so you know now. But these are a pair of leather pants, just like straight leg with like a zip and a button. And I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to wear these in Nashville. I'm going to Nashville over New Year's Eve for my best friend's bachelorette. And hopefully these are the look. Um, so I'm gonna try those on later. And then I also ordered a black long coat. It's gonna be chilly. <clears throat> And I don't want to have to pack a ton of coats. I'm only going to do like a small carry-on, hopefully. So, so I wanted to just pack one coat, but this kind of feels like a cardigan. It's not very thick, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. It's heavy, but it's not coat material. That's unfortunate. I might have to return that, but we'll see. I'm gonna try everything on and see. I'm really tired. <laughs> I just laid down and took a little bitty, a little baby nap because Callan is sleeping. Oh my god. But I got woke up because y'all, I just I can't even make this up. Look at this. 
we're having to completely reorganize our house because the car doesn't fit in the garage. And I've already measured it from the wall, the back of the wall to the end of the garage. It's 19 feet. Your car is, it's 19 and change. Your car is 18 feet long. So it barely is gonna fit. I'm trying to figure out what to do with these two items. I moved the fridge. Oh my. So that would happen to us. Um, anyway. Callan's still sleeping, and I'm gonna do a little bit of Christmas wrapping. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wrap some gifts. I keep all of my wrapping in this back office bedroom, is what I refer to it as, but Goose literally comes with me everywhere. Like, I thought that Carlo and Nala were codependent, but he loves just being with his human. <laughs> He's dark. I feel like I don't share them a ton, but especially him. Um, but he's a good boy. He's kind of silly because he just gets into stuff. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm hopefully going to be able to knock all of this out before Callan wakes up. So here we go. It's much later. I ended up getting in the shower and doing a little skincare routine. And now I'm actually thinking I'm gonna sit down and edit this vlog because I just have a little bit of time. Callan's taking a super long nap. I think he just had a really long weekend. And um, Jack is in there watching the Chiefs game. So I think I'm gonna sit down and edit this vlog. I'm really excited to get it up. But um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for well, watching this video, um, tuning into our lives, it's truly crazy how like blessed I am and I do not take it for granted for a second. Like I um, just feel super, super lucky and I have such an awesome guy and son and we're just really really excited and i can't wait to start sharing like wedding details and all the exciting things coming up but anyway i just wanted to say thank you guys for all your love and support um watching my little channel here and you know just coming along the journey as me and jack and Callan navigate life it's crazy and I just feel super, super grateful. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.